Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and this is In Plain Sight Tarot and I'm back with another pick a card reading for you guys and this time this pick a card reading is going to be about who is overthinking about you, okay? So before we go any further, I would like to say thank you to those of you who have been liking, commenting, subscribing my to my channel. Thank you so much you guys. Uh, those of you who have been commenting on my previous videos, I get a lot of comments coming in from even the you know the long ago past videos. Thank you so much, you guys, for commenting. Um, yeah, I truly appreciate all of you. And also, I was able to you know um, catch up with all of my previous readings, previous uh, personal readings. So now I'm freed up a little bit. Uh, you guys can send in uh yeah your request if you want a personal reading from me also um those of you who be sending me reviews of your readings thank you so much you guys i do read each and every one of your emails i might not get around to them all but yeah thank you so much for the reviews the good reviews i have not i've yet to receive a bad review actually uh so yeah if you are um <laughs> if you are um which I'm not trying to manifest, so yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> so if you want to per book a personal reading from me, uh, I suggest you do it uh, at around this time, okay? Because I'm freed up. Hence, more pick a card readings. Anyways, um, let's just get straight into the past. Uh, who is overthinking about you? Who is overthinking about you? I'm a bit comfy. Who's been overthinking about you? Okay, let's just... One, two. I'm gonna do two piles today, okay? Just two piles. So, pile number one, dog close up, pleasure with a close friend, okay? Pile number two, throne, position of authority, okay? So, pile number one, dog close up, pile number two, throne, position of authority. Okay, I hope there's no glare there. Am I, is that? <laughs> Okay, so uh, once you're ready, you can go ahead and choose your uh, timestamps and we'll get straight into pile number one. Dog close up. Okay, pile number one, you guys chose dog close up. Okay, this person is uh, someone who has really nice hair. Look at that hair on the dog, right? <laughs> or they could have a dog with really nice hair, with really nice fur, you know? Yeah, they could own a dog with really nice, like, like long fur, or this does seem to be someone who has uh, salt and pepper hair. I'm hearing some, some of them might have salt and pepper hair, and they, they, they have long hair. I think whoever this is, uh, they're very proud of their mane. That's what I'm hearing. This person is a bit silly, and 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 they like to joke around. I think this is someone who is currently a good friend of yours or someone who is in the friend zone I'm hearing, someone who is in the friend zone and you know they're, they're being, this person could have like a childlike nature, do you see that how this dog has the tongue stuck out so they, they could have like that, that you know cheeky attitude a little bit right, someone here could be from Britain from London hmm. from the UK not from London I'm just I'm, I'm hearing like a lot of accents now I'm hearing different accents I'm hearing different British accents <laughs> yeah Okay, so ooh, this person, they love hanging out with you. They love uh, being silly with you, I'm hearing. This person likes being silly with you. They like their, f they, they don't only just like, you know, uh, whoever this is, they like being silly with you. They like it that they can just, just be themselves around you. Um, 
you give this person a sense of like it's pleasurable being with you. Yeah. That's nice energy, pile number one. That's really nice. Okay, so um don't wanna use this deck. I think because this person is in a silly mood, I'm hearing. I don't want to burn myself. Just now I burned my, burnt my finger because I'm clumsy like that. Which I shouldn't be affirming, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just a thing. <laughs> so, it's just a thing that I keep burning my fingers. It does hurt a little bit, but I'll live. Um, someone here could be called Liv. Okay. Liv. Olivia. Liv. This person also likes your hair. Sweet. Livy. There's something about both of your hair. I mean, the both of you have very, like, like hair that stands out or hair that people do compliment on or you know maybe the both of you are very proud of your hair <laughs> okay so we have a death right who's overthinking about your death queen of swords the five of swords Okay, so we're going to be looking at this first. Alright, uh, so this person could be an air sign or a Scorpio, okay? Because with death here. I think um, this is someone who, I think you have... Uh, you're not in contact with anymore. I think this, per this, this relationship itself went through a death process or it's it went through a death process or you guys have stopped talking or you were in some sort of like um you know with the five of swords here you were in some sort of altercation okay it could be about i don't know this could be about a power struggle I, uh, that's what i'm hearing a power struggle what power struggle <laughs> yeah There's these two, you know, in the background here, right? Gossiping about this one, uh, this queen here, right? So there could could have been like gossip or complaining. There's like com complaining. You know how th these guys work for the queen, right? And they're like complaining like, oh my gosh, she's such a, such a bitch, right? That's what they're saying. This person could have um, yeah, called you bitchy or something, maybe you were being bitchy, but like I do see that you have put up boundaries with whoever this is, okay? It's snuffed out. This relationship between the two of you is snuffed out. So this, I don't know who this is, but this could be either a friend or because I'm seeing friends more it's more friend here okay this person it's too bad because I feel like this person really does value the friendship between the two of you um, they loved hanging out with you you brought good energy in that's what I'm hearing. You were clear, you were blunt with this person. You were, you, they felt like they could just be themselves around you. But you've put up boundaries with this person. Yeah. <clears throat> Peter Pentacles. Yeah, I think this person wants to offer, uh, like, I think this, this person wants to why they're overthinking or why they're thinking about this relationship i think they want to offer uh, a new start to a friendship like a more stable start 
I think they want to mend things. This really could be a friend that we're talking about. They want to mend things with you. Some of them might even have a gift for you. Yeah. Oh, look at the Two of Cups, the Hermit. Okay, we have the Two of Cups, the Hermit. This person really did love hanging around you, being with you. Uh, you could also be dealing with the Virgo here. Well, Ten of Wands. Um, but it was too much of a burden with this person. I think this person carried a lot of drama around them. They could have been, it could be that they weren't in dramatic situations with you. They were in dramatic situations with other people, right? They were in dramatic situations with other people. I don't think they had anything to do with you, but you put up boundaries with this person because they were so, like, they weren't seeing <coughs> where they went wrong. I feel like this person might might, might confide in you how they, they are in... in in conflict with other people but it's, it's almost like you know you and you when when this person says or, or talks about something you know that this person is actually uh, the one you know in the wrong you can see like both sides of the situation and it was too much of a burden for you to just like not be able to tell this person because they were very combative okay and you 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 distance yourself away from this person with the hermit here. The queen, uh, with the queen of swords, you distance yourself away from this person because this person was too dramat dramatic. I mean, like, oh my god. <coughs> yeah, a lot of smoke, a lot of uh, drama um, surrounding this person. Okay? And it kind of like, like put a damper on your relationship because you were constantly having to hear them complain about other people I guess this person was a complainer or this person was a they didn't really have a lot of nice things to say about people <laughs> that's what I'm hearing okay yeah The Ten of Wands, Five of Swords. But this person does love you, though. Like, they genuinely love you as a friend. But you had to, you had to hermit yourself away from this person. I think you slowly, just like gradually, uh, pulled yourself away from this person. And you put up boundaries. Um, I think this person thinks that... You know, you 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 were were in conflict with them. It wasn't that you were in conflict with them. You were in conflict with the fact that they were surrounded by, uh, yeah, drama. With the ten of wands here. So the relationship was more focused on, you know, uh, this person's friends or this person's life or this. It was all about them. Okay. Yeah. The Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you want, you wanted an equal give and take kind of thing where you guys just sit, hang out, eat, like, you know, uh, banter. Uh, you, you wanted to have a good time. That's what I'm hearing with the Six of Pentacles. Do you see this? With the, you, you just want to have a good time. But this person was constantly, like, probably, you know, <laughs> you were trying to enjoy yourself, but then this person was like, constantly um what you call it talking about others yeah and you were always this person in between you know other people would talk about this person and you were this person in between do you see this hair like the hair is just trying to chill and Alice and the Mad Hatter are making faces at each other, <laughs> you know? So, yeah.
this person was whoever this is they were too focused they were too focused on what other people were doing they were too focused on 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 uh <laughs> yeah uh, other things and you just genuinely just wanted to have a good time with this person and you did i think you did because with pleasure with a close friend here dog close up you did you both had uh good times with each other you might have partied a lot with each other you know you might have um you know g done all sorts of stuff together you know <laughs> you know what i mean by stuff right yeah stuff like that right They see you as a strong friend though, a true friend with strength here. And it took you, it took, it took you like, it, it was hard for you to walk away. That's what I'm hearing from this person. It took you a lot of strength to walk away from whoever this was. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Virgo, Scorpio. I was sensing air signs just now. Yeah, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, this is who is overthinking about you or thinking about you. I think they're, they're, it's not like they're overthinking. I think they're remembering. They are... They are... Reminiscing on past times, I guess. You know, with the six pentacles here. This person could have a gift for you too. Did I mention that? Yeah, they, they could have a gift for you. They could want to give you something as a token of like you know um no there's no bad feelings between the two of you minky minky that was sudden anyways so yeah um pal number one that was who was thinking about you this person might want to ask you out for coffee or drinks soon um, with the two of cups here I'm seeing like you know it, it, it looks like they're they're um, <laughs> cheersing with each other they they're saluting they're clinking their drinks together yeah so this person might ask you out for coffee this person might ask you out for you know to, to just go to a bar and have a drink um, yeah but that's really up to you what you want to do i think you do love this person you, you do uh, value this friendship too but i think you have put up boundaries with this person and if this person continues to act this way um i think you will again you know pull your energy back and i don't think you mean you you mean anything i guess i mean pal number one you're just protecting your energy okay so uh thank you so much for coming to my reading that is who is overthinking about you um i hope that reading resonated with you if it didn't resonate with you you can go ahead and choose another pal if it did resonate with you remember to like comment share subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads if you'd like to book a personal reading for me you can find my email details down below in the description box email me there and i'll send you the rates thank you so much for all the bookings for all the donations for all the likes for all the comments for every single thing you guys i truly appreciate each and every single one of you and i will see you in my next video okay Hi, pal number two. So you guys chose um, throne, position of authority. Position of authority. So this could be someone's boss, or this, this could be someone who is a boss, right? <laughs> boss bitch, I'm hearing. Um, yeah, this person could be someone who is very, like, um, in control of themselves, I guess, position of authority. This person is someone who has a good grip over their uh, affairs in life, I'm hearing. This person could be a head of a family, 
Um, this person could be a head of a business, a company, um, head of a band, head of a group, head of a um, head of something. Okay, this person is a leader, position of authority, right? I'm getting Capricorn vibes for some reason. Um, Earth sign, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Throne. Thrones are only fit for kings and queens. So this person is, yeah, they're, they're very comfortable in life. Whoever this is, that's overthinking about you. Their name could start with the letter T H R O N or E. Okay. Ron. Their name could be in this um, I don't know why I'm being drawn to the letters there, but yeah, thrown. Okay, so I'm gonna use this deck right here. This person is pretty comfortable. They have people that um, depend on them. Okay, so this could be a company like they have friends and family who depend on them. Okay, who's overthinking about you, pal number two, and why? Oh, by the way, today is February 22nd, which is 222 and 2023. And uh, what today? I well, this morning I got a snapshot of. 222 with my battery <laughs> my battery at 22 percent and i just came out of med meditation i switched on the phone it was like that number all the twos and i was calling it terrible twos well okay seven of swords well seven of swords maybe this person is thinking about something that they're hiding from you the ten of pentacles okay yeah, this person is abundant. This person is financially abundant. They are financially stable. This person has a lot of uh, material things. Um, we have strength. This person could have strong Leo in their chart. Okay. <clears throat> Bottom of the set. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Six of swords. Why couldn't I say that? S S S S could be a significant letter to strength six of swords seven of swords s <laughs> s okay um snaky a little bit okay this person could be trying to hide something from you they could be hiding the fact that That they are in a position of authority okay they, they they could be hiding their their abundance they could be hiding their 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 actual position from you whoever this is they could say like oh, they work at a certain place where it's just an office job, but really what they do have is like a bigger job. This person has... That's a lot. Literally a truck just passed by. So, uh, yeah, this person could... I don't know why I heard just freight companies or vehicles. This person could sell cars or something, vehicles. Vehicles. Truck. This person has 
a position of strength over whatever it is. And this person is hiding something from you though, with the Seven of Swords. Uh, whoever it is that's overthinking about you is someone that is hiding probably some money. Uh, no, not, not money. Um, their riches, their, their abundance from you. And I think this person is, uh, with the Six of Swords here, you might live far away from this person. You might live overseas. You might have to travel by plane or by boat to get to this person, okay? This person, um, yeah, it's almost like they're hiding their, their abundance. Do you see how the, the ten of coins there is like sitting in a room, in a dark room, right? It's sitting in a dark room. <laughs> this person likes to sit in dark rooms, I think. Yeah. They have a dark room. Isn't that for, for for like film photography or something? Maybe they have a, a dark room. Seven of Swords. The King of Wands. This is definitely like strong Leo energy, you guys. We have Page of Coins. Oh my god, it's so lining up. This person comes off to you like a page, okay? They come to you and they show you like they're, they're this page, but in fact, they're hiding. They're hiding a lot of wealth, okay? They're not necessarily hiding it from you. We have the Queen of Wands, so we have a match here, you guys. Qu King and Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person is hiding. Hiding, 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 hiding. This person does not want to disclose or is not ready to disclose. I don't think this person has any trouble with wanting to dis disclose anything. It's just, I think this person just likes watching you from a dark room. This person likes to, to just observe you, which is a little bit creepy in my well it's a, it's a bit creepy in my uh, opinion because i i was just watching what you uh, i don't know if you you guys have seen that on netflix um what joe goldberg yeah so he, he, he this person likes to, i mean it's flattering in a sense but uh, until you find out that this person's actually a sociopath or a psychopath <laughs> it's flattering but yeah but yeah this person is uh, hot though, the both of you are hot, like uh, I'm seeing with the king of wands and the queen of wands here, this person is very very attractive to you, my goodness, we have the king of swords and the chariot, okay, the king of swords and the chariot. Okay, we have a couple of people here. Because we, we, we got two kings in between. We'll see. Okay. Nine of Cups, you guys. Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Swords. Okay. I don't know like this person has you 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 the viewer you might have two people who are overthinking about you okay with the chariot here and your 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 energy might be be pulled in two different di directions right now because I see this do you see that like how there's like these two horse heads and they're like really blurry so it's like you 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 don't know in which direction you want to go in terms of whoever this is okay we have a king of wands and the king of swords here both of them are hiding both of, both of them are not 
coming forwards and that's why they're overthinking because you are their nine of cups you are their um, wish fulfillment here this person sees you as someone strong powerful uh, confident okay with strength here confident but also like uh, very sure of themselves um, they see you as hot they're very attracted to you there's something about the color yellow here um, I think uh, you look good in yellow someone here looks good in yellow someone here has the, the, the their favorite color could be yellow okay yellow could be a significant num number <laughs> Yellow could be a significant number, you guys. Okay, so numbers, numbers, numbers. This person could count a lot. This person could be an accountant or they could work with numbers a lot. Yeah, they, they do math a lot. Um, they could be, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of numbers. Yeah. This is who is overthinking about you. I'm also seeing two energies between one person. So I think this person has maybe they're overthinking about competition. Maybe they're overthinking. We have justice at the bottom of the deck, by the way. Oh, wow, the devil. Justice and the devil at the bottom of the deck. Okay, um, this person. Okay, I'm getting a different message from th those two, but with justice here, this person could want to be... No, I think, I think the message is you need to be fair. Yeah. You need to be fair with whoever... Uh, the person that you, you... This is very confusing. Um, this is... This is very uh, disorienting, <laughs> disorientating, because all of a sudden, like there's like a flurry of energies coming through, and I think there's a lot of people in this reading. Um, yeah. Someone here could might want to just pop up on you. This person has to travel quite a distance to come and see you with the seven of swords here chariot and the king of wands they just want to just just pop up on you i think um but with the king of swords here being here the, uh this person is not disclosing anything they're not saying anything they, they they're very uh they're very mums the word that's what i'm hearing like mums the word they don't want to say anything i don't think this person is also someone who is uh show offy i'm hearing they don't like to i don't think this person flaunts their wealth or this person won't flaunt their wealth to you but they do have a lot of money and uh i think um they could have they could have been cheated or lied to when it comes to money by a Leo okay they, they could have that's just for some of you um, they could also be overthinking about coming towards you and being fair they want you to be fair this person is overthinking, is obsessively overthinking about you, and I think this has got something to do with love. They want to, they want to come in and offer you um, their love. They just want to slide in your DMs. I mean, <laughs> see, this person is sliding, right? Yeah. Is that sliding? Yeah. It looks like this person is, you know, balancing this cup. You know, so they're they're they're, they're trying to come in poised. All right, they want to come in poise, but this person is um, incredibly obsessed with you. Okay, there is one energy here that is very, very obsessed with you, and it could be a karmic relationship for some reason. I'm hearing with justice here and the devil, and it could be some sort of like karmic thing that you guys need to balance out. Yeah, with the two pentacles here. Okay, um, but I don't think it's going to be anything. Um, I think it's good karma actually I don't think it's going to be anything serious it's just that it's going to be a little bit obsessive for this person maybe not for you because you are coming up here as the strength queen of wands and the ace of swords you're very clear about what kind of person you you're very clear if this person comes through you will 
tell it like it is, okay? I think this is who is overthinking about you. This person might want to... Mm, yeah, I'm ha having trouble telling you because this person doesn't want you to know that they're overthinking about you. Because they have like this, this kind of demeanor, you know? And it's only kings out here. Except for this page. Yeah, they come off as a page to you. They come off as as someone really humble or really, really, really just chill. Childlike. But they're really thinking about how you're a good match for them and they want to come towards you. Okay? So you could be dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fire signs, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, strong Leo. Um, we have the chariot, which is Cancer. We have the devil here, that is Capricorn. And we have Libra with justice. Okay. Yeah. What else can I get? Who is overthinking about you and why? This person has a gift for you. This person wants to gift something to you though. With the Page of Pentacles here. The King of Wands giving something to the Queen of Wands. You know? Maybe they want to give you... Maybe they want to they, they want to travel with you. With you. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups here. You are like their wish fulfillment here. The Ten of Coins, Nine of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. They're very sure about you. And you will be sure about this person. I don't know for some of you, for some of you, I don't know why I'm hearing you have not yet met this person. For some of you, you have. For some of you, this person knows of you, you don't know of them. But I think this person is very sure about the fact that you will love them for some reason. Or you will be like... <laughs> Totally head over heels for them, okay? This person is very sure of themselves. But they're not disclosing this. The Seven of Wands. Not yet. That's what I'm hearing, not yet. Okay? So, pal number two. That is who is overthinking about you. Um, I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pal. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye.